Happy Friday! We are at school. We had a two hour delay this morning, so we got to sleep in for just a few seconds longer. Um, I've been at school for a little while now. I just haven't been filming because I didn't have any coffee this morning and I'm on the struggle bus. Paisley and I got here. She helped me sort my scholastic news. It's a lot of it. Because when you get them, they come four to a pack and so you sort them. And she sorted them for me and put paper clips like a good girl. Do you notice anything different? We dyed her hair last night. It's washable, so it'll come out in four to eight shampoos, but look how cute it is. That's my best, but here's my hair. We did it one other time with some purplish blue color. That was really pretty. Well, it was very pretty, but it didn't turn her hair like the red did. My hands were stained last night, but they're not today. So, um, I went ahead and filed my Friday folders because my assistant isn't going to be here today. So, I went ahead and went through all those, put their breakfast and lunch calendar in there for January, I think. Mom. And then I did their, put their newsletter in the front. Yes, lovey. Go ahead. One of the scholastic news is pray on the ice. And then we got... Predator on the ice. Mm hmm. Predator on the ice. A hero story. Who is that? I don't know. That's Martin Luther King Jr. What? <laughs> We're out of school on his birthday, which is a week from Monday. This Happy is the one I'm doing next week. Happy New Year! Back up a little bit. There you go. You'll probably do those in your, she'll probably do those in her class too, but they'll be on a first grade level. Um, I think I am going, my kids will be here in about 25 minutes. So I think I'm gonna walk down and talk to one of the other teachers on my team about something. And I have that workshop this afternoon from 12.30 to two. And today my kids are um, having a electronic celebration for getting 20 blue paws again. Nope. So I think I'm going to have them do a game, the first block of math, and then they'll do inside play time, and then they'll do their electronics at the second part of math. So it'll be super easy for my son. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and make a list of all the kids that I still need to finish progress monitoring this morning and work on my plans for next week. So I will catch back up with you guys in a little while. Probably during my planning because I don't have to meet today. I'll see you guys then. I told the other table if you take your pencil like this and put a little tiny one on it, that way if it gets all mixed up again, you'll know that that, that one's the first one. I know it's No, they didn't. They just... This is not an arguing are you? We're not going to get an arguing Okay. Is this in the right order? I'm looking. Miss Edwards, I'm trying to help. Okay, look, I see a problem. I'm trying. Bella healed. And then the next one says Bella got hurt. Shouldn't she get hurt before she heals? Now it's... So you switch these two around. I just took my kids to lunch. This morning has been pretty good, pretty productive. We did the sequencing with the Tara and Bella book that we're reading. I had them work in table groups because I have different reading levels at each group and so if they could work together I figured they'd be able to figure it out easier but they did pretty good um of course my high readers finished first and then helped the rest of their table get caught up but this is what they look like I had them glue them down in order and some of them put the numbers out to the side like that and then some of them wrote the number on the actual piece of paper which was fine with me 
So like I said, they're at lunch now. I am going to go eat a bite of lunch myself. I feel like we, we have, I feel like we just got here. We're at lunch, which pretty much we did. It's 10 minutes till 11 and we got here. I had kids at 9.30, so. <sighs> I'm so glad it's Friday. When my kids get back from lunch, we are going to do a lesson on saving. I'm going to give them all a pink pig. They're going to cut it out like a piggy bank. And they're going to think of something that they want to save for. And then they're going to color and cut out some money and just kind of glue it to the piggy bank. It is like an oven in my room. I just took off that big chunky scarf I was wearing this morning because I am like burning up. I have a cardigan on, which I might take off later because this shirt has three quarter length sleeves on it. Um, I've got to go to a meeting in 30 minutes. It's 12 o'clock and I'm going to be there for about an hour and a half. So I have an assistant coming in to cover my class. I told my class before they went to STEM lab, they're at STEM lab right now, that someone would be coming in and watching them. And I gave them my expectations, told them what they were going to be doing. So I'm crossing my fingers that they will behave. I think they will. After lunch today, my kids came back to the room and we did a refresher on spending and saving since we talked about that a little bit yesterday. And then we did a really cute activity. My kids had a little pink piggy bank. I hung them up here, they look so cute. And they had to write their name on the top line. And then it says, is saving for and they had to write something that they could save for. And, and since we talked about saving yesterday and how it should be something big or something that costs a lot of money, they had to think of something that costs a lot of money. So he said a hoverboard, a big toy cat. She said high school, a Bible, electric car, Legos, American Girl doll, a puppy, a lightsaber, a hot tub, Legos, and a car because she can drive, but she can't really drive. So I thought those were really cute. I have two girls absent today and one little girl who was meeting with a therapist so she has to finish and then another one who is not finished because she had to finish something from earlier so right now i am going to put their homework for next week in their homework folders i've got a couple of other things i need to put in there i have a book order for next week a soccer brochure and i have to put their baggy book log back in their folder so I'm gonna work on that and then I'm going to gather up what I need for my meeting. And I guess I will check back in with you guys after school because I'll be back up here at two-ish and my kids leave at 2.30, so that's what we're doing. Well, I did it. I made it through the day and I have a terrible headache. This morning I left home without any coffee and I was gonna stop at Dunkin' Donuts but I was running late. So I thought maybe it's because I have, you know, a caffeine headache because I'm so used to having coffee every morning. And then when we had our meeting this afternoon, they served, or there was a Keurig with all kinds of different hot drinks. So I made some coffee and I thought it was gonna help, but it didn't. It's eased off a little bit, but I'm still feeling like, just kind of like a dull headache. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully it will go away. I don't want to take anything just because I don't like taking stuff like Advil or Tylenol. I don't mind taking it, but I don't like taking it when I have to take it a lot. I'm gonna try to hold off as much as possible and hope that it will go away. But I am back up in my room now and my kids are all gone home. When I got back up here after our meeting, I had asked the assistant that was in here how my kids were, and she said they were awesome. So I rewarded them. I gave them all a dojo point and a piece of candy. And then I had all of my kids have all of their work completed and empty mailboxes. So then they all got three points because I reward the kids who do all of their work on Fridays by giving them three points if they don't have any mailbox work before the weekend. I'm very happy about that. It's been a really good day despite my headache and not getting a lot of sleep last night because I did not sleep good. 
So now I am going to change breakfast and lunch choices, change the date, put morning work out for Monday morning, and check over my plans and make sure I am ready for Monday and ready to start our in-class testing. Brr, it is cold. We just got in the car from school. I didn't vlog before I left. I mean, I'm still at school, but usually I'm in my classroom. It is 22 degrees outside right now, and it is five o'clock. So we are heading home, and I'm ready because I'm so tired and my head is hurting. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below the video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos from us. And we will see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.